we think that your, your 65 games, I'd argue it's it's one of if you you know it's one of the probably the greatest Not player one ever, of, mate. the greatest player ever to play 65 games. Oh no question about that. And, and we're going to reward you with membership in the 65 game and under team of the century. Oh, 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 That's oh, the year oh, my oh, mate, oh, Buzz. <laughs> No, not because I'm not. Who's unlucky not to be part of that team? Uh, Ahmed Sarr. Do <laughs> <laughs> you want to go with Richard Lounder? Oh, Richard Lounder? <laughs> Richard Lounder is very underrated. Richard, do you know who Richard Lounder is? No, I don't. Yeah, you not played not. on him. <laughs> Pretty good then and starting to fill out a little bit and uh, uh, went from sort of 18's Colts Reserves and League in one year when I was 17. Uh, but the progress was uh, was pretty well sort of mapped out and uh, uh, Dad kept me away from sort of Colts football until I was sort of uh, big enough and strong enough to, um, you know, to survive in that footy. Zasto in a worse full forward. I don't believe it. It's a goal. 78, I just started to uh, you know, really blossom and of course the 78 grand final culminated in uh, kicking seven goals in the... Uh, Pouring rain. The brilliant Peter Mazzas goes away. Side steps. Can he get his kick in? Wait on it. He lines up the big sticks. He's put it through. That's the goal of the century. And he rang me the next day, David, and said, uh, uh, Peter, um, I believe you want to come over. You're coming over, uh, you know, for the '81 season. David Parker, outstanding coach. Um, you know, absolutely, you know, true story. The, the first game. Uh, you know, went over there with a bit of fanfare. Bit of a fanfare and uh, shot the mouth off, told him how high I could jump and freak goals and tackle like a machine and all that sort of thing and run out 77,000 people at the ground. Well, I'm like this, shaking like a leaf. <laughs> what have I put myself in for here? Run around like a headless chook for 20 minutes and couldn't get a kick. The runner comes screaming over to me and says, uh, you know, you big-headed so-and-so from Western Australia, you've shot your mouth off and you've told everyone how good you are, etc., etc." And I said, I can't, I can't breathe, I can't move. On about a 45-degree angle, could easily kick this guy. Oh, oh he's off target, the ball is out of bounds on the foot. Well, that kick by Basusto is probably indicative of the pressure that uh, these players are under at the moment. Parkin sent him straight back and said, look, squat down, take three deep breaths, look around the whole ground and you know what it was the most influential advice I ever got from a coach and uh, you know he knew I was in trouble and um, you know I just started working for the, for the, uh, for the side from then. Well smothered though by Mazzasto, picks it up and has a step shot at goal and has got it through. And then you gain the bonding and the camaraderie from the team and uh, I think that's what made us a really good side because we won the, uh, the next two premierships. Well that's the Zasto couldn't score from there, I wouldn't think. Peter Mazzasto's kick is on the way, and he's made a liar of me. To pitch your skills and to pitch your, uh, uh, you know, your, uh, uh, your competitors against Waitman and, uh, you know, Robbie Flower and these sort of guys. And that's why I love playing in state football, because, you know, Glenn Denning got the best out here and, uh, you know, Morris Rioli and Stephen Michael and, uh, you know, those some of the, the, the greatest West Australian household names and uh, I'm just so proud to play with those and, uh, and have some victories as well. 21-16, 142 WA, there can't be much time. You know, love the game because, um, you know, and you hear about everyone, I take the footy to bed and, you know, I really played with it, uh, you know, with all the, uh, uh, you know, all the spare time I had and I think that's what you've got to do when you want to succeed and you want to go on even further in any sport you pick. I just did it with, with football. He is only 40 metres out, straight in front. Just got to worry about the wind because it's a crossing. Now this fellow's a pretty talented footballer. And as that kick proves, he judged the wind beautifully and Carl's are doing it well. 3-2. Thinks he might be able to kick it. He's about 50 metres out. Certainly won't kick a goal. Mackay's there. Oh, out almost directly in front not happy about the way they're carrying on on the mark kicks a goal that should win it for the blues over in 81 and you both make your debut together yes. round one yeah, yeah. against richmond yep your your memories 
sensational. Um, I run out onto the ground now. I think Kenny and I played on the, on each other the last game in Perth. There was 4,000 people going, good on you, buzzer, good on you, Kenny, good luck for next year. That's right. Of course, we ran out the next year, 77,000 people there, Sam. So I was on wobbly legs. Yeah. No, I'd shot my mouth off the week before, though. I told him how good I was <laughs> and how I could jump high. And, uh, and I couldn't get a kick for 20 minutes. Kenny's up there starring, of course. And I couldn't get a kick for 20 minutes. I thought, oh, this is the end of me. Anyway, um, David Parkin, of course, our yeah. great coach, uh, just give me a couple of little bits of advice. And, uh, you know, I uh, you know, I took those advice. You know, I think we won by about 10 goals that day, didn't we, Kenny, our first game. And uh, yeah, we played pretty well. And, uh, of course, it all it all sort of shot up from there. Interesting Sam, but, tactic, uh, Buzz, that you went, uh, you went a bit lippy. Yeah. Yes, I did. Yes, yes. <laughs> unlike me, though, yes. isn't it? Yes. It is unlike me. Fans, suffered off the carpet by Bazasto. Here's Bazasto, the man of the quarter. A long kick up towards the 10 metres. Forward was Fitzpatrick at the back. There's a go for Bazasto, a running shot for goal. He's put it through. Could be their answer. No, it's Bazasto. 65 metres from goal. Looks pretty good. And it's a goal. Zasto goes toward goal and popped it through for Carlton. They now lead Geelong. The hit. Picked up by Glass, get down towards the forward pocket. A chance for Zasto to kick his first goal. He's suffered it well. This fellow's a pretty talented footballer. The battle's gone. Keeping it low, he's popping through the second half time to shift his lead, so he's there up Gertie, comes off the hands of the pack, picked up by Masasto, he's next to the five-ass, walks up to the fourth goal, and the pass is on his way by Masasto. Good off the boot. Loose trail by 17 points. Oh, he steers it beautifully. That's his second. Loco, Bazasto.
Bye, Bye.